satan wants to abort and sabotage your destiny he tries to stop you from seeing because satan is a master at creating blindness are we together he does not just blind your mind he blinds your eyes he blinds your understanding two things when satan wants to destroy the life of dreams and visions he will manipulate it so that you keep taking wrong steps in honor of what you are seeing and you keep failing then a time will come in disappointment you will no longer trust what you see are we together i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god it will plant fear in you so that the next thing you see you say no my hand is not there again i will not make this mistake and in it you will lose precious opportunities do you know that the rescue of jesus as a baby came by revelation to joseph through a dream if dreams were not powerful and were not god ordained god will not use it the best channel to communicate the rescue of the savior who could die was a dream hallelujah when believers go to sleep i hope you know sit down please the first thing satan manipulated in the life of adam and eve eve particularly was their eyes the dynamics of the fall of man started with his speaking, his manipulation, but it went to their eyes. The Bible says when the woman saw, what she heard was there, but until it affected what she saw, it had no power over her. Regardless what the serpent was saying, she still had her stamina. And her nakedness was not there regardless of the information, but the moment it translated to an alteration of her vision, when she saw, she acted upon what she saw and fell. Hallelujah. In fact, it was, it was Paul, I believe, who was speaking. He said, I fear lest Satan beguile you with the same subtlety that he used for Eve in the garden. Do you know how he made them fall? He manipulated the power of their sight. He casted an image upon them and they responded to that image to their detriment. Question, do you know what happened to the four lepers and the people who ran away and brought blessings to Samaria? It was first a manipulation of what they heard, but it was beyond what they heard. I believe with all my, my heart that their eyes had a role to play. What you hear may not be enough to, you can't just be running because you heard sounds. There has to be something your eyes see to convince you because you can doubt what you hear. But you cannot doubt what you see there are times that when you place a call you are hearing someone's voice but either because there is a network problem or perhaps the person has some cold he's not able to speak clearly and sometimes you see eye. there are people who left where their helpers were and traveled to where their enemies were not knowing literally took their hands to their enemies because they lacked the seeing eye Ladies and gentlemen, your confidence in life is highly predicated on your ability to see. The prophet, in spite of the threat of the armies, he stood still in confidence because his servant was blind. And God said, I know the problem of this man and inspired the prophet to open his eyes. And he saw that they that were with them were by far greater than they that were against them. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have the seeing eye, as a man of God, you can look at five members and see nations. The seeing eye. The seeing eye. Right from the days of nothing by the grace of God and the days of no influence, no voice, no whatever, by the privilege of the seeing eye, our confidence was still high, knowing that God does not lie. Can I tell you, when God shows you the future, you will stand confident. You will dance in the midst of nothing like a madman because you are seeing what others are not seeing. You will get up from a dream. You will get up from a vision and tap your loved ones and say, hallelujah, deliverance has come for this family. They will say, we don't understand what you are saying. They will say, I have seen it. Hallelujah. When there was a storm, the apostle got up and said, you know what? Have no fear. 
the angel of the Lord has appeared to me and he showed me that there shall be no loss and the Bible says upon that confidence they saw through the storm until they arrived at an island called Melita the storms in your life today are overwhelming you and telling on your integrity as far as your love for God is concerned because you have no eyes to see beyond the now if you have the eyes to see beyond the now you will sit in even in the midst of nothing and sing praises and give thanks because you have seen beyond the now please sit down dreams and visions when it's time to pray we are going to ask the Lord purify my dreams purify my vision and for some of you I don't know what happened to your Christian life that your visions are not clear again or you do not even see there are some of you you were so graced and gifted by God you can literally sit down like you are watching me and watch the movies of your destiny unravel either through carelessness familiarity or lack of discernment you lost it tonight may there be a restoration I say it again may there be a restoration that I may receive my sight the sight I lost that I may receive my sight